Are you ready for me to uh, start uh, dumping the tags? Yes. Our food docking? Yep. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm dumping. <laughs> I still have my system. <laughs> Cole and Wendy, and you can do all that from inside. All right. Well, then maybe you can help me do my thing. No, I'm busy dumping. <laughs> Hey, Fabian. Finishing up watching uh, Big Truck, Big Travels. Well, we only come here about once a year, once every other year. We messed up. Made so this is my work slice. We should have come in from the other direction. We want to be. Oh yeah, right. Well, this is the tape I use normally to hold the paper on. Right now it's holding my wood slice on. I started this the other night. This is not acrylic paint. This is water-based oil paint. Oh. Border mixable oil paint or border something. I don't need turpentine or linseed oil or anything like that. So I didn't do the whole thing from the start live because I wanted to make sure that I knew how to like use the paint since it's different than acrylic. So I didn't want to make a complete mess. Um so now I'm just going to finish this one up. I'm going to put a little cabin in there and some trees. So. Paint's kind of weird to use. Oh, hey, can you give me water, please? I'm sorry. I think every day, but not the water. My cup should be on the table. Hey, well, we are. Those fancy new pants you got. Yeah, I bought these. Turned off the they were already. And so we're gonna try and run it. Jim's got fancy new pants. They have cargo pockets on them. And it is not turning on. Not well, thank you, Adam. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're running at the voltage I should. Fancy uh, new khaki cargo pants. Some With his fancy new silver. We're hearing a triangle star. Thanks, my man. Got it? Yeah. Have a 30 amp plug, so if we need to plug in. Once <laughs> well, you watch one, one board, you're going to want to watch them all it. because yeah. the equipment that these people have is insane. Insane. I'm not going to say a word about it. You have to watch the videos. You're going to be like, what? The actual fluff in it. The voltage that was served on the ATM batteries is actually on the one in the back. All right, so the fear out would brush I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. These are the brushes that I use for the oil paints. I don't use the. Oh, uh, Big Trip, Big Travels, Fed. Well, and Hank's video comes out on Thursdays too. So. And they're actually both out right now. Here's the palm. Time to hook up. We got the 30 amp right here. Anyway. She's really nice. So let's get the score. I guess we use a pool to change. Wow. About eight feet short. No generator, no 30 amp cord, no problem. I hook up the uh, 20 amp and you know, hybrid system 
Can, uh, still no, big it. truck, okay. big travel. Okay. Right, so this is the this is the motorcycle. Okay. And it's in the They're fun to watch. I like watching them. Oh, they're in a cornfield. <laughs> How appropriate. So we're out there, we got our chairs. Simple truck, big turning radius. Alright, so let's see here. I need my third number. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna use red. It's kind of like a reddy brown and super color. But first, just so I get the roof line correct, I'm going to turn it this way so I get it straight. So just bear with me a couple of minutes here. I don't know, uh, maybe you should start one. We're gonna make this a pretty decent sized cabin barn thing. Neil Young did this on the program, by the way. Look it up. It's pretty long. George jealous of your hair, my leg. Jealous of my hair? Yeah. Why oh, is this falling out or something? You must know if your hair is falling out, George. No, just gray. <laughs> Turn around and ferment in about two weeks. Um, this will be ready for, uh, for dinner. 
time. Kind of like one of our uh, Asian shop salads. And this is farms that the families of the mid 1800s when my great grandfather came out and owned that in the nice five days. And yeah, we're heading out now and on to the, the next chapter. Um, We're watching it. Sorry. It might be my headset. Hold on. To that. Hold your pants on. One sec. Oh, that's because it's on the webcam. Yeah. I don't know why. How's that? Is that better? That's because it wasn't on my, uh, it wasn't on my head, it was on the camera, the audio for the camera. There we go. Told you to hit the play button. I just told you what I was doing because you were yelling at me because I was supposedly late. Gord, don't make Rob fire you. Rob and I were having a discussion about the number four only because he was bored at work. I think I got the basic shape in there. A new American math, yes. The uh, common core math. It's not my fault, Gord. It's not my fault. Hey, Don! Guess what, everybody? Jim's home. Oh, wait, you might have already guessed that. In case you didn't, Jim's home. He has, once again, successfully... Masoned in Atlantic City. Or whatever you want to call it. Doherty? That's the number... Rob, look at the... Rob, look at the number four that Fatima made. That's the one I was talking about. It looks like the triangle with a tail on it. Because it's not. I'm not accept accepting responsibility for anything today. You know why? Because it's after 3.30. That's why. Just putting it out there. Oh, Don plus charity equals Don. Doherty. Okay, I got it. You'll have to ask him, Gord. He might have. He 
He spent two days supervising an election. And eating well and not sleeping well. Do you have any noisy neighbors on the floor? It was silent. Yes, I was slacking just a little bit, Gord. But don't tell anybody. Supervising an election equals getting hammered at a cheap casino bar. I've supervised a few in my life. <laughs> yeah. Take your firstborn for a drink down there. $18 for a Manhattan? What? Dinner for 20 people was 4,000? 40 people? $4,000. So you each ate $100 worth of food. Fudge. Yeah, like you couldn't, yeah. Dollars. Welcome to Atlantic City. That's your list, hurrah. Yeah, he has a habit of liking to go and do all these dinner things and sp spending lots of lodge money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's insane. Insane. <laughs> he looked at Ryan. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't his credit card. It wasn't the Lodge credit card? He paid for that whole bill? Oh, 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 oh. On a slice of wood, Anthony, with oil soluble, I mean, water soluble oil paints. What up, Kevin? 
for $100 a head, I could get still sober. You're very smart, Kevin. Did you learn that on Jeopardy? <laughs> I can't imagine anyone choosing a fancy meal in Atlantic City over my live stream about nothing but the each his own. He was trying to be social. Oh, you did learn it on, on... See? I knew you gained some kind of knowledge off of that show. Just... Alright, let me get rid of this down here. I just needed it. You're guilting him into watching it, word. A slice of bread. It's got to be toast. I don't think bread will work. It'll suck up too much paint. You do it first, Anthony. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Rob's decided that Moose Lodges are the place to drink. Either they don't understand how to price or they don't care. He doesn't drink that much anymore. How much did you drink? Did you have to be carried back to the room? I walked back under my own power. That's your summer drink. Uh, you don't look like scotch either. The more they drink, the more they don't care. see his new pants and and they're already too big on him and I can't lose a f and, and I can't lose a pound to save my life so I'm doing something wrong one word Ozempic Yes, it's an overhang for the roof. He's like, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I gotta fix it yet. Hey, look, this roof line looks a hell of a lot better than the first roof line I ever did. And I did this one freehand. I didn't even sketch it. My roof lines have come a long way. Thank you. <laughs> Don't pick on my roof line. Don Worst Charity. We need to know these things. Let's, let's roof line more elevation line. Yeah. And my first live painting stream. So I was a bit nervous on that one. That's when Anthony had to come up and help me. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I've been painting for... It'll, oh, YouTube, yeah. YouTube for four years. Time flies when you're having fun. You're getting old. Okay. Fine, Don. We'll just suffer for the next few minutes. <laughs> Is she having a really expensive meal? Oh, wow. Hear that, Don? She, he wants to know if she's having a really expensive meal, and if she's not, she has no excuse not to be here. She's loading the, gl <laughs> loading the glitter cannon. <laughs> Could be. Could be. It's very possible. Four thousand dollars Salisbury steak. <laughs> Kenny just like spending that money, boy. He is in a restaurant. Oh, okay. And it progresses forward. My hairline progresses in the other direction. <laughs> she has a ballistic missile with all those addresses. She's going to send it your way. Why? What did we do? I think that's charity talk for she's firing us. She's firing us. I can tell. Hey, lady. Jim said that unless you were making a high-end meal, you had no excuse not to be here. Doherty, can you message me and let me know what my share of the Castle of Awesome is? Gotta do my budgeting. Two hundred and no. That's the what her deposit was. Oh, glitter missiles! Oh my God! Could you imagine, like a T-shirt cannon gourd? Who by by Chef Jean Pierre? Jean Pierre is funny. Um, uh, the other guy. The other guy. But Jean Pierre is funny to watch. He's great. No one tells Sonia, but while she sleeps, we are fitting neon under lighting to baby truck. <laughs> <laughs> she was running late planning the grand birthday party this weekend can we come you have to bring us with you I don't know if they'd be able to handle us though I'm just saying Alabama <laughs> I meant virtually they can fit us all in Don's truck. We've been in there before. Oh, just so everybody knows, everyone can come. It's going to be at the trampoline park. Yay! I want to go to a trampoline park. Could you imagine if we all went to a trampoline park? Do you know the mass chaos that that would be? That would be content. <laughs> I think Rob would have the most fun at the trampoline park. I'm just saying. He'd be like, yeah, I have to bring home one of these. How can I get this on an airplane? He's six foot four. He's six foot one. <laughs> 
I know for a fact Jim loves the trampoline park. He has all the flips in his trick book. Yeah. I can see someone you're jumping on a trampoline. Ah, he said I could say the same thing about you, lady. <laughs> Come on, that would be awesome. Content. That would be content. Fatima would do it. That would be fun. Yes, P H U N, fun. I would need my inhaler and depends. <laughs> oh, now we're going with the depends now. That's one step further. In the ER. <laughs> you had a double espresso last night? That, that'll keep you up. I could see someone you're jumping on a trampoline too, Charity. If you put some Dunkin' up somewhere. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Not Everything I do requires a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Not everything. Pinata. God, you make it sound like I'm, I take a drug or something. Gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. Um, we beg to differ. <laughs> wow, what a reputation I have. Look on for you off the highway for Duncan. <laughs> you knew what was going to happen, Gordon. <laughs> and I don't recall anyone else going in. Hey. You know, if you if you guys want to dunk it, you just gonna, just gonna follow the leader. That's it, exactly. Follow the leader if you wanted it that bad. The only thing Sonya does that doesn't involve going to a Dunkin' Donuts is leaving the drive-through. <laughs> Didn't even put the truck in park. I swear she walked on. You didn't even see me. You weren't even in the parking spot yet. <laughs> I am never going to live that down. Never, never, never. We're all going to be like 90 years old. Sitting in wheelchairs. Talking about the trip to Michigan. And stopping at the Duncan. And Duncan will be like a long out of business by then. <laughs> Fresh corn. <laughs> Get Jim to fetch the Duncan and make sure the cups are extra slippery. <laughs> yeah, I knocked it off the table, lost half the cup out of it. I just get mad at myself, I start. <laughs> God, you make it sound so horrible. 
At least it's not Starbucks. Now that would be content. Hide the Duncan at the top of a squirrel pole. I tell you. <laughs> Somebody should have had their camera going, but yo, every single one of you just looked at me. They couldn't get the phones out fast enough. Gord, Gord's camera is attached surgically to his hand, and he didn't even get it on on film, on the video. <laughs> the shutter doesn't go that fast we had no time I didn't even know what we were pulling over for yet didn't you read the road sign didn't you read the road sign <laughs> your dash cam was on the whole time I have that. Oh, I do have that on the live stream. That's right. I got to find that footage. Got to find that footage. I can make a short out of that. Probably go viral. <laughs> you just see that footage. Fatima was trying so desperately to keep up, she ran over her own foot. Hey, Sue. Thank you. I don't know about all you people. But it was fun. Sue, they're picking on me. Just saying. They claim that I ran so fast into the Dunkin' Donuts at the rest stop that there was smoke on my heels. <laughs> we are, Sue, joining in. We're so fast, you have to put it on slow mo. <laughs> now, for all you guys know, I could have really had to go to the bathroom, but you know what? I would just would have went in the camper for that. I wouldn't have stopped in the visitor center. <laughs> I did have an emergency pit stop though one time. I may go flick through the live streams. I know which one it'll be on. I may do a reaction video. You see this, babe? You see this? That's why you camp with your personal body into. That's right. I did have an emergency pit stop once. I do remember that. Jim didn't get a cigarette lit real good until you were coming back sipping on it. Cheers. Smoking donuts, a traveling movie for the modern age. <laughs> what can I say? The struggle is real.
I will have to pull up that live stream tomorrow night so we can all laugh hysterically at it. Sprinting to D. <laughs> It didn't look like much struggling to me. What are you saying? He looked it up. I mean, we were only on the road for an hour? Wow. 56.30. Leave it to Gord to find it. You're gonna make me pull that up now. Now, you know what? I'll wait till tomorrow. Gord's not busy for once. He says now. <laughs> Jim's making you wait till tomorrow, Charity. You have to struggle through another twenty four hours. What? Jim has a public service announcement. Oh yeah, that's that's what I was supposed to say, beginning to say earlier. Yes, Saturday night <clears throat> on Robert's other channel, which is called Robert Morales, six p.m. Eastern, is Minitani Lounge. And I will be DJing the intermission. So make sure you tune in for that. Duncan, 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 la 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 la. <laughs> Well, he's just finding them all. Now, as soon as we're done with the grands, the grands. Oh no, it's 5 p.m. Eastern. That's right. Five to seven. That's usually when he does it. Five p.m. to seven p.m. Eastern. Sorry. Bye, Kevin. Have fun watching Jibbody. I'm gonna. Alright, I think I'm done with that one. Now I gotta switch brushies. That's what it looks like so far. Have to switch brushies. Terrific. 
where I wanna be. Okay. Any boulders in the future? I don't know, Fatima. I don't know. I have to put some grassy grasses. So my so it's not floating. In fairness, she took time to count some cash and make rabbit ears behind my head when I walked in front of her desk. <laughs> Let me guess, Rob. Godzilla. Just guessing. In my heart is where I wanna be. Cowboy Godzilla. Mm, I need new paints. I have to add more paints. Hi! Yellow Aka, Yellow Ogre. Drive into the west. 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 doesn't go there. Time for a sip of... Could you imagine if Dunkin' Donuts sponsored my live streams on the other channel? That would be awesome. Whoops, look, I got the wrong text up there. Why didn't anybody tell me I've got the wrong banner going? There we go. That's better. You're all fired. You all fired. You fired. Oh, yeah, you fired.
good thing I was driving and didn't see all the nasty things Rob was saying about me. Oh, wait. That's every live stream. <laughs> Yes, you did, Sue. You did find. You're the one that found the Dunkin' Donuts. We were only on the road for an hour before. <laughs> She's like, it's here. Go to the next rest stop. It's over here. <laughs> All right, so my sun, my light's coming from this way, so my shadow's going to go that way. Right before we got off of 80. Let's see how this is going to go here. Gordon has all the deets. I was gone nine minutes and eleven seconds. <laughs> Gord would make a great interrogator. They had a bit of a line in there, and the service wasn't exactly the quickest. She wasn't gone long. <laughs> Is that the one that looked at you weird when you asked for French vanilla iced coffee? No, that was down the shore. She thought I said mocha chocolate or something or other. And I was like, no, that's not what I said. It felt like forever. Give that a minute. How did we get on this subject anyway? <laughs> sure how we got on this subject. Don't feel bad, Sue. It's literally impossible to keep track of all the Duncan stops. She found five in like a half mile radius of each other. Okay. And we're 
going to gray this up just a little bit because light is coming from that side. So I need some of that. And a little bit of that. That works. Where'd Fatima go? The only one I clearly remember was the unauthorized hole in Jim's Boston Cream because it was the same day I was cooking my boneless, bonin, ham, Boston butt, pulled pork, Instapot roast. <laughs> no, he wasn't with me that day. I was by myself that day, Gord. I can't remember if he was in the, the car behind me or if, if he couldn't go that day. That weekend. Oh, there she is. That was the first Sunday live stream I watched. Was it? Yeah, he wasn't with me because I told him... I told him that he missed the whole thing. I think that's the one I either deleted or I made it private because I had music in it. An undisclosed Michigan cornfield. Is it anywhere near the campground? Hey, Jonathan. Don't mind us, Jonathan. We're just talking about cornfields again. It comes up a lot in conversation. If I told you, it would be this Sorry, feared I'd ask. She. Cornfields and Dunkin' Donuts, don't ask me why. You should rename the channel Cornfields and Coffee. Hey, that's not bad. That means I would have to visit, like, cornfields all the time. And if you've seen one, you've seen them all, kind of, right? Be kind of boring after, like, the first video. At least once a year. <laughs> I 
have cornfields all around my house. I look out sometimes to look for the children of the corn. <laughs> we were the children of the corn, Jonathan. Legitimately. Even though we only kind of like drove around them. but <laughs> Technically, we were children of the corn that day. can I say I didn't say it was going to be a dull adventure They put a Duncan in the middle of the cornfield. We'd never see you again. <laughs> it would be like Field of Dreams where the ball players just disappear into the corn. Right? If hey, you know what? If they build it, if you build it, they will come, right? There you go. If you build it, they will come. Fatima is officially off the couch. <laughs> With her... <laughs> you know, Fatima, I often wonder what your husband thinks of all this stuff when you're sitting there laughing hysterically. And he's like, what are they doing? Her first franchise will be located in a cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gord laughs out loud while he's at work, and everybody wonders what the heck he's laughing at. I do that too sometimes. All right, well, that's that. That's what I got so far. Get your depends on Fatima. I'm not busy tonight. <laughs> All right, time to change the brush. Stop laughing to take a breath over there. I'm, tr 
trying to edit photos, but that ain't gonna go in too well. <laughs> Why not? What's the matter? <laughs> what happened, Gord? What's going on? <laughs> Busy typing, researching previous videos. <laughs> Fatima, you didn't answer my question. Pathalo green. Pathalo. I have to get some Pathalo green. Oh my gosh. Charity is on the phone with her son. She's missing all of this. Fatima, what does your husband think when you're 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 watching a live stream and laughing hysterically? Like, does he think you're nuts, or how does that work? Are they also talking about cornfields and coffee? <laughs> He smiles and shakes his head. After 25 years, he knows I'm certifiable. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be able to handle us, Fatima. Imagine if we all went to Fatima's house. Like I do charity. <laughs> wow. And Jim just sits here quiet. I could see that, Fatima. I only met you once and, well... <laughs> oh my gosh. He would quietly sit and watch the chaos. It's kind of like going to a bar and not drinking. <laughs> kind of like going to a bar and not drinking. Don's like, we're there. We're going to Fatima's house.
her husband would be like, don't you ever bring those crazy people here again. Except you really feel like you need a drink. Sue! What happened to Rob? Where did Rob go? Someone should check on Rob. He's unusually quiet. <laughs> right? Probably had to do something that was kind of work related. Trapped in the loo. Trapped in the loo. Trapped in the loo. So what else are you finding on that live stream there, Gord, since you're doing all this research? The fact that we couldn't, it took us three tries to find a gas station. Because Michigan signs lie. Oh my god, these idiots just drove into a cornfield. I can't. <laughs> He's sitting there watching the live stream. Sue, what's your granddaughter doing? You're watching it the second time around, I guess.
we'll make that tomorrow night's uh, festivities. She just had a DoorDash delivery from Moe's. <gasps> Their white queso and chips is yummy. It's much funnier when it's not actually happening to you. But it did happen to us. Now I get to see it through everyone else's eyes. Are you watching uh, Big Truck Big Travels? They were doing something with a cornfield in there. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, excuse me for messing up your routine. I'm sorry. Pretty sure it's about a carbon copy of them driving into a cornfield on M22. Only difference is they weren't heading, leading a caravan of people willing to follow them. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, I know Gord, right? I mean, what was that 1230 podcast thing? I was like, whoa, wait a minute. He's only done that once before. And he was like, oh, it's my first time. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, no, Robert, you did that once before. I'm watching each of his videos four times now. <laughs> Hard to keep up, right? I think he released another one members only Tuesday night or Wednesday night which we have to watch it because I don't watch it without Jim being here so yeah it's almost like he was bored or something Yeah, I saw a few minutes of Robert's live before I met a friend for lunch. I watched the members early release, then the premiere, then yeah, watch it together. <laughs> by that, by by then, you should know the words by heart. I think I'm gonna add a fence to this, and then that'll be that. What you think? What you think? Yeah, right? That's true also. Supposed to be dilapidated. Jim doesn't like my cabin. Yes. A drive through. Jim doesn't like my cabin. I don't know why. Wait till it dries, you'll like it more. Picking on my cabin.
Thank you, Don. Now, I'm going to make a little bit of a fence. Doesn't have a great Colorado beside. It's silver, Don. It's silver. Get it right. Silver. It's. <laughs> Thank you. Gord. I'm not about to try and paint my truck. don't like the cabin tell me you don't like the cabin not you they're like we dare not tell anybody that we don't like their painting that would just be rude To a flea market on the weekend to look for some antique frames for my for your paintings. Oh, really? You think they're antique? -y? Picking out frames is a struggle too. You really have to like you kind of like get the frame according to like what setting you think that the painting is giving you. I guess, kinda. Supposed to. It's supposed to. I think I gave you one of the jagged edge paintings. I think. I don't know. Do I really want to do a fence in this? Nah. I think I'll leave it. I'm not feeling fancy on this one. Nope. I edited myself. Don's never been able to differentiate. Yeah, the the actual GM name for that paint is Silver Ice Metallic. Silver Ice Metallic. Three I have are giving off beachy vibes. We want to do our own room in beach vibe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think one of the 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 one with the um pilings in it, the very 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 first one that you said that you liked, that's an early painting. Like that's like oh my god, why did he want that one? I mean, Erica has one of my very first paintings because. She wanted it and she thought it was cool and she could see the progression. I just look at it and go, oh my god. She bought a whole bunch of stuff at the wicker store on the other side of the bridge in Rio. Oh, okay. Oh, Kate May Wicker? Kate May Wicker's got a few places. I have one on Route 9 in um, Ocean View. I think we have like two or three stores. All right, well, I think I'm going to call this one finished. I won't be able to sign it yet. It's got to dry first. It's simple. It's got a cabin. I'm good with it. Let me close this up real quick and then I'll turn it around. I'll give you a closer look at it. Well, now I gotta look it up. Oh, okay, with your Googleisms over there.
That's not Rio. That should be Wildwood Gourd. The only retro McDonald's I know of is in Wildwood. Or North Wildwood. One of the two. Oh, Warehouse Quicker. Okay. Because there's another one called uh, Cape May Wicker. So that's what she looks like. Yeah, well, off the mainland, because Wildwood is on the peninsula. So, yeah, that's that 109 bridge or whatever it is. No, 109 is in, in uh, Cape May. Whatever that bridge is. The Wildwoods, the Wildwoods and Cape May are on the peninsula. Whatever. <sighs> I gotta look it up. Yes, when you get to the end of the parkway, milepost zero, at that intersection, right before the bridge, it turns into 109. Not sure if that's the actual name of the bridge, which I doubt it, but that's how I know it, because that's what the highway is right there. We'll have to do like New Jersey trivia one night or something. Oh, it's on 47. Well, why didn't you say that? God. 47 is a really long highway. That's usually like the back way to go into Wildwood when the parkway and is all backed up. You sneak down 47, go in the back way. You can get 47 off of Route 9, too, in Rio Grande, just past the, um, just past the Walmart. I had to look it up. We'll have to do New Jersey trivia. So that's my c That's your favorite corner? Why? 47 and Route 9 is your favorite corner? <laughs> Seems like I would flunk that trivia. Why, Sue, we just taught you a whole bunch of stuff about New York and New Jersey not too long ago. Joey Canals, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Christmas store is pretty cool. I was in there once. But don't go to... If you ever need party supplies while you're down there for whatever reason, don't go to Patty's Party Store. They're super expensive. Winterwood, yeah. You know who's got a really nice uh, Christmas store is... I think it's... Uh, Freaking boardwalk is that? That's is it Stone Harbor? 
Sea Isle? One of the two have a really cool uh, Christmas store on it. It's either Stone Harbor or Sea Isle City. <clears throat> Grocery store is a shop right I had to look it up. We have shop rights up here. They're all over the state. Don't think I committed it to memory. All the sh all the shores and beaches and boardwalks and wildwood and winter wood. <laughs> There's a tractor supply there now too. That wasn't there last time. And they're popping up all over the place down there. They're down there, and then they're up in in uh, Hunter County, um, up by where Jim's brother lives. There's a bunch out there too, because that's all farmland up there. Yeah, we have a lot of beaches and boardwalks too. They start at uh, uh, Atlantic Highlands. Island Heights, Island Beach State Park, like 117 on the parkway, and they go all the way down. The place with the, the Stone Pony, that's Stone Ponies in Asbury Park. That's where Bruce Springsteen got his start. Across the street from the Silver Bowl Arcade. Oh, Gord, if you're into, like, retro arcades, like old pinball machines and stuff like that, there's a place down in Asbury called uh, Silver, Silver Bowl Arcade. It's right across the street from the Stone Pony. Yeah, they have pinball machines going all the way back to the 1920s. It's pretty cool. You can't look it up. Oh, my God. It seems like a really cool place to work at, Don. I'd work there because I have, like, chicks. Why not? <laughs> but I can see the chicks and say hi to the chicks. Silver Ball Arcade in Asbury Park, right across the street from the Stone Pony, where Bruce Springsteen got his start. Jeez! She said that was fun until you had to clean up after them. Yeah, I'm sure, right? I believe it. Silver Ball Arcade. It's uh, exit 100 on the parkway. A or B, I can't remember which one. One of them goes one way, the other one goes the other way. <laughs> it's three hours north from Wildwood. Yeah! I could have told you that. Actually, no, it's not three hours. It's... A hundred minutes. It's a little over an hour and a half. You should go there just because. You know, you are allowed to go to other places besides Wildwood Gourd. I mean, I know you're Canadian, but... <laughs> this north we've been in six flags of oh, great adventure great adventure i know they're getting rid of their safari thing they're turning it into a campground you're gonna be able to camp at great adventure yeah, 
Yeah. Animal poop. I'm sure they're gonna fix all that. Anything else you want to know, Gord? I can give you, you know, like, we have, like, a hundred and some odd miles of shoreline. <laughs> you could go to the Stone Pony. Gilling wants to spend more time in Cape May. The kids didn't like it when they were younger. They just wanted to go to the beach and boardwalk. Cape May has a lot of cool stuff that they have. They got the the um, the haunted um, physic physic estate tour that you can go on. Uh, they have a really really cool. If you get to go down there around Christmas time, all the houses are done up like really nice with all the Christmas lights, and you can walk the Washington Square Mall. You could go to the Lobster House for dinner. And Jim doesn't like Bruce Springsteen either. You could go to... What else is there? There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do in Cape May. You did Washington Square Mall last time you were there. It is, but they got a whole bunch of nice shops there. Uh, what else? Oh, Lucy the Elephant, elephant is in Margate. She just got a a a, 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 a facelift. Cool antique shop across from the Lobster House. Yeah, Charity's back. Yeah, you go see you go to Margate and see Lucy the elephant. Yeah, she she just got a remodel a year or so ago. Um, it's been there forever. Uh, what else? What did you miss? Look at my awesome painting on a wood slice. What do you think about that? I think it came out pretty damn good. Of course, it's going to take like 10 years to dry. And then I can clear coat it. Um, what else? Trying to give Gord new points of interest. He could come to this really great place called Maze Landing RV Resort. <laughs> There's going to be some like really awesome people there in August. I'm just saying. We have to check out that hot dog place, babe. That's all I have for now. You have to send Robert a link. Can you set up a test? Conference or no? Okay. 
It's a committee decision. It's dependent on something going on in January. No. No excuses, Gord. No excuses. Some fantabulous people are going to be there. Like Rob and Donna Charity and me and Jim. I don't know what January has to do with August. <laughs> but we had that conversation. You need to you need to be with the fantabulous people. You know. Oh yeah. Fatima is not going. I asked her that on your live stream the other night. It it coincides with a holiday, remember? God, it must go. <laughs> no, she's not going, Charity. It coincides with a holiday that her husband's not going to be around, or him and his cousin are going somewhere, or something like that. To change that, she says. She still has almost ten months to change religions. <laughs> wow. Oh, Don says her presence is required. Oh yes, you're you're just for the weekend, Gord. You can come in Friday, you can leave on Sunday. You you have to be there. Don says your presence is required. He's gonna have his camper chow right here. Is it Lisa? Stay in the cab. Could you? Oh my god. You and Don, Rob, and, and Gord in the same cabin together? Oh my god. That's not a selling point. <laughs> An M23 reunion. There you go. Unless you're making pulled pork again. Uh-oh. Looks like Don and Charity are making pulled pork again. Anything to get Gordon <laughs> to the campground. Yeah, the, the cabin has it. It's like a complete cabin. Like I think it's got all the... It has cooking stuff in it. It just doesn't have linens. We have to buy their bedding stuff. If someone will bring an Instapot, I'll make it. Don has it. I mean, uh, Gord has an Instapot. <laughs> no. You know what an Instapot is, don't you? Boston shoulder. <laughs> Ham. <laughs> he doesn't have to drag the camper all the way down the end of the street just to use the Instapot. <laughs> no, it'll be in his route for the, you know, however long his trip is. Gord's getting his arm twisted. What happened? See what? Oh. Uh. 
All right, peeps, let me get off of this crazy computer. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Hope you had fun picking on me. <laughs> and we'll see you all tomorrow night on the other channel where we can rewatch the Dunkin Donuts live stream. I'm going to twist both arms. Gord has to be there with Canadian hot dogs. <laughs> All right, people, we'll see you, Tomato. Charity, don't yell at Jennifer too much. Sue, don't cause too much chaos. Don, try to keep your belt and try not to get sold. And, um, just, just be gourd, gourd. Bye.